Hello everyone, welcome to the Cam channel. This is Xue Hang. In the tutorial 6, I showed some general ways to analyze Nyquist plot. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you that it is also possible to obtain ion diffusivity related information from the electrochemical impedance data. A quick review here in a Nyquist plot, we can identify three regions. The semicircle corresponds to possibly charge transfer. The 45 degree curve is called verbal region. And the vertical curve at low frequency is observed in air capacity process. So when you see a 45 line in Nyquist plot or the verbal region, you can consider diffusion as a possible explanation. A verbal diffusion element is one of the most common diffusion circle. A verbal impedance element can be used to model semi-infinite linear diffusion, that is, unrestricted diffusion, to a large planar electrode. This is the simplest diffusion situation because it is only the linear distance from electrodes that matters. The Warburg impedance is an example of a constant phase element for which the phase angle is a constant 45 degree and independent of frequency. The equation for a Warburg impedance is given here. In this equation, sigma is the Warburg coefficient and omega is the frequency. The Warburg equation indicates that the magnitude of the Warburg impedance is reversibly proportional to the square roots of the frequency. The Warburg equation looks simple, but the equation for the Warburg constant, the sigma, is more complicated and is given here. The equation applies to both reversible and quasi-reversible reactions for which both half of the couple are soluble. In this equation, the subscription O and R represents the oxidized and reduced form of the species and the C in the equation denotes a bulk concentration. D is the diffusion coefficient of the species. Although the equation looks very complicated, the Warburg constant can be obtained from impedance experiments. The Warburg coefficient, sigma, can be determined from the slope of a Warburg plot or by fitting to an equivalent circle model which includes a Warburg impedance. The unit of the Warburg efficient is ohm second to the power of negative 0.5. By linear fitting the curve, the slope is the Warburg coefficient. If you plot the curve for different materials and electrolytes together, you can directly compare their ion diffusivity. With a larger slope, the diffusivity should be lower. So sometimes you can observe the 45 degree easily in the Nyquist plot, but sometimes a Warburg impedance element can be difficult to recognize because it is nearly always associated with a large transfer resistance and a double layer capacitance. This may hide the attributes of the Warburg impedance. Here are two ways may assist you identify the Warburg impedance. The first plot is the Buddha plot for Verbock impedance in series with a charge transfer resistance, RCT. In this curve, the slope of the Z Buddha plot is minus 0.5 at the lower frequency where the impedance of the Verbock dominance. In this region, the phase angle is 45 degree. At the higher frequency, the charge transfer resistance dominates and the phase angle becomes zero degree. Another way is to plot both real and imaginary part of Z, the Z prime and Z double prime, as a function of 1 over omega to the power of 0 0.5. The line should be straight and parallel. The slope of both lines should be equal to the verbal constant. The line for the imaginary component Z double prime shown in the red should intersect the Z axis at zero, while the intercept for the real component, the Z prime shown in green, is the charge transfer resistance. 
We now update the channel twice a month on Sunday. The video in our eCamp channel are completely free and only for educational purposes and knowledge distribution. It will certainly motivate us if you subscribe and like our video. Thank you for watching the video today. See you next time.